tired of schlepping to the tent of the meeting just to talk to God? Rest your weary feet, because Mishkan Maven has just what you need, a DIY portable sanctuary. You don't want to sleep on this limited time deal. Equipped with built-in altars, vessels, and furnishings, sacrificing to God has never been easier. Call 1-800-MESSIAH and place your order today. The glory of God and two tablets sold separately. Welcome back to And God Was Like, Almost Weekly Torah Portion Series. I'm your host, Ariel Kaplan, and this week I'm breaking down Parshat Teruma. Donation. Chapter 25. Moses is on the mountain with God for 40 days and 40 nights, and half the time is spent outlining the presence that God wants for his party, because in this sanctuary, we bring gifts for God. He doesn't want a homemade happy birthday, love you so much God kind of thing they'll put on a fridge. What God wants are the valuables that the Israel took from the Egyptians to create his Mishkan, the permanent sanctuary. This parsha is really just a blueprint for building the tabernacle. So here's what God wants. Gold, silver, copper, blue, purple. Okay, these are just colors. Fine linen, goat's hair, dolphin skins. Okay, here's the deal with the dolphin skins, which is called Techashim. The rabbis believe Techash was this animal that God created, which was basically a unicorn. It was multicolored, it had a horn, and it was made exclusively for the purpose of the tabernacle. So after Moses was done cutting its skin off, it disappeared. God also wants acacia wood and oil for the incense. I'm pretty sure that the incense was like marijuana, but we'll get into that later. The tabernacle is surrounded by a huge gate with an closed courtyard. Inside the courtyard, there's an altar for burnt sacrifices. Go deeper into the courtyard and you'll find a curtain as a barrier to the holiest of holy places. There's also a table where mana is placed every damn day. God loves fresh bread. Who doesn't? As for the lampstand made out of pure gold, this is a direct allusion to Asherah, the Hebrew goddess I cannot stop talking about. It is stylized exactly like Asherah poles. Inside the Holy of Holies is the Ark of the Covenant. It's made of acacia wood and gold, and this is like a lockbox for the two tablets. Now the lid for the tablets had these two cherubim on top of them, these golden like angel child faces. However, it is very likely that these cherubim were a man and a woman boning. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a raunchy hoe, I have receipts. So when the Romans destroyed the second temple in 70 CE, they saw the cherubim and they were like, oh my God, I'm erect right now. This is pornography. The Romans were surprised at how hypocritical they Israel was for literally having porn on top of their Torah. And in Lamentations, it says, all who once respected Israel debased her for they saw her nakedness. The nakedness being the sexy little cherubim. Oh, and I realized I didn't really make this clear, but the tabernacle is the place where Beit Israel and Moses communicate to God. It is where the heavenly and earthly realms join together. The design of the tabernacle is set to represent a gradual increase of holiness. So the outer courtyard created a barrier between the profane realm to the Holy of Holies. Chapter 26 and chapter 27, both boring blueprints I don't want to go over. Try saying boring blueprints five times fast. Boring blueprints, boring blueprints, boring whatever. That's that on that. Thank you so much for tuning in and tune in next week for more. Shabbat Shalom.